This video is sponsored by Dubia.com. We're back to the greatest hate scrolling subreddit there is, r slash Creston Gecko. I recently explored the post. If you want to check it out, you can, you can, but if not, it doesn't matter. We're jumping back into it now. My Cresty's new cage. After a lot of griefing, I fixed the cage. Again, I'm missing out on something because this is not the first cage, apparently. Kate, do people say, I was just saying closure. If, okay, first of all, if I saw this, I would guess it's an inadequate ball python setup, but it turns out it's for a crusty. I really want to see the originals. So after scrolling through some of the absolute worst memes I've ever seen in my entire life, bear with me, we're almost there. Oh, there it is. This was the original. And for the first time in my life, I saw a crusty gecko on Aspen. It was in a 20 gallon enclosure with a hide and Aspen. They changed it to coconut fiber. They're, they're making they're making progress. <laughs> I think you could work with this, okay? Flip it on its side, put it up like this, make it vertical. Glue the hide to the wall along with the branches, like the plants. I don't know if you can work with this. I'm trying to be positive, but it's improvement, right? Yeah, I don't know. is still fighting an even bigger cage? Wait, 99. Didn't another person have 99 in their name? skin yeah it's this person it's the same person so i guess they kept the geckos in this and then they fought and then they're still fighting and they recorded them fighting in a bigger enclosure pretty crazy it's almost like an enclosure with an extra four inches of space in fact still allows the crusty geckos to have contact with each other says the man who didn't know that they couldn't be cohab so i guess i should shut up why does she do this with her nubby when I stroke her back leg. I don't like that sound of that. I just think it's super cute, like she's trying to pet me back or something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't need to see that. That's, that's really weird. Why are you doing that? Please stop. Will this be? All right, let's move on. I feel like crap. I'm a recent, re, I mean, recent Crested Gecko owner of a baby called, don't care. I checked up on him every day, don't care. I was building a new tank, I also don't care. Um, but today I found him unresponsive, and I don't know if I caused it or not. He was in a very small tank, way too small, but I was getting a new one tomorrow. But he's definitely not alive anymore, and so I'm sad. Well, that's sad. But it sounds like, yeah, that was a baby crusty. I mean, there is a reason that many reptiles lay so many eggs, or birth so many animals and amphibians, because, you know, they kind of just die sometimes. Birth defects, uh... Uh, this isn't an educational video. I don't know. They die sometimes, and it's sad, but it's not always your fault. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a mix. It's all over the place. It happens, though. They're actually nice in the comments. Um, it's a, it's a chill sub. What can I say? Oh, help. My gecko is coming. Three, two, one. Yep. All right. Well, the gecko is coming. Can Crusty Geckos cohab with Pac-Man frogs? Tell me, please. No, a Pac-Man would probably eat the Crusty if they got close enough. It would be like a constant game of the floor is lava. The Crusty just makes just never go lower than 12 inches and you'll be fine. Because it'll probably be eaten. I've actually known of people feeding Crusty Geckos to their Pac-Man frogs. Yeah, cool stuff. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Dubia.com. And if you've seen some recent videos, you'd know that they're the place that I've bought my bugs from for many years and I really don't want to know how many bugs. I've actually purchased. But starting last year, I've had some new additions who definitely like the bugs more than anyone else. My quail literally steal them from each other and the chickens, they attack me. And I really like how you can get such a huge variety of insects with just one order. Because oftentimes if you go to a store or you go to certain sites, you'll have like a few types of bugs. And in my experience, they won't even be that healthy. But through dba.com, you can order pretty much every feeder insect that you can think of feeding to a reptile or a bird. Throw all the types you want into your cart and get them all at the same time. And I also like how specific you can be with the size of the insect you order to make sure you get exactly the size down to the quarter of an inch for your reptile. And you can throw in some wax worms and some black soldier fly larvae and whatever else you might want to feed them. Not only do you get to see what your animal likes, but giving them a variety gives them some enrichment and extra nutrition because each insect is a little bit different. But no matter what you need, you can get it for 15% off with code GOHERPING. I really appreciate Dubia sponsoring the channel, and a lot of you have said that you're really happy with your order so far, so if you need some bugs, check them out. Anyway, rate my setup, 5.5 gallon tank. At least they're asking for advice. I mean, again, if you just flip this on your side, you're halfway there. For its current size, it's still small. It's not, it's a little dry. 
It's a little sad. Not many hiding spots or any. I like how there's a paper towel roll. I've never, or toilet paper. I've never seen a crusty in a toilet paper roll, but at least they're asking for advice, I guess. My baby crusty bean. And there's piano music. <laughs> People grieve in different ways, I guess, but why would you make a TikTok? You add sad piano music and just no pictures or anything. It's just, <laughs> do do what you gotta do, I guess. I think my crusty might be sunburnt. Part two, pics. For context, he's usually a pale yellow. I think he's just, yeah, it looks like he's just fired up as the comment said as well. Uh, the Cresties are like budget chameleons, lame chameleons, because they can change color easy when they're a bit stressed out or excited or whatever. What's it called? Flare, flare up, fire up, I guess. I, okay, so what I do, which I think is the right way to do it, is that when I list a Cresti Gecko for sale, I take pictures when it's not fired up because it's how you're going to see it most of the time. Unless your custody is like stressed out, you're not going to see it fired up. So I want to photograph it when it's not fired up. But then people get upset because they receive the gecko and they angrily say, you sent me the wrong crusty gecko. And then they send a picture and it's the same crusty gecko. It's just fired up. And I'm like, no, it's just fired up. They're like, oh, OK, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's I, I feel like that's happened quite a few times actually but most other sellers take the pictures while they're fired up which i think is kind of it's not false advertising because it is the crusty but it's like you receive it and then it's kind of boring and pale so yeah what i'm saying is i'm better than everyone else as my allergic small for five months uh, with a picture of a leopard gecko but there was still some advice saying that it should be on loose substrate for their joint development. And frankly, I really don't have any more energy to talk about something as specific and boring as leopard gecko substrate. But of all the conversations and all the comments of the literal thousands of opinions I've seen about leopard gecko substrate, I've never seen someone say that their joints will only develop well on loose substrate. What does that even mean? What about all the geckos that have been raised? In I don't have the energy for this. Let's move on, shall we? Please stop taking reptiles outside. We got a Reddit mod on this one. Uh, I don't feel like reading this whole thing. I just thought it was really funny that one of their reasons to not take your reptile outside is open roads. If your gecko jumps into oncoming traffic, there's no saving it. In what context would your gecko have the opportunity to jump in oncoming traffic? What? Some are obvious, like they can just jump and run away. Some, I don't really think about like direct sunlight, which can be, I guess, damaging to their eyes. I mean, crusty geckos are nocturnal, so they're obviously more sensitive and I've never taken a crusty outside aside to take pictures. So I just don't want to take a crusty outside. They're too jumpy, but yeah, I like how open roads is a, an actual concern for some people, apparently. It does remind me of that video of the, the family releasing the bunny and within like eight seconds, the bunny gets taken, killed and eaten by a hawk. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to laugh at the video, but it was kind of funny. Is this a good tank? Wow, that light burns my corneas and my retinas and my eyeballs all at the same time. Yeah, red, I, I just don't get the red lights. It's so weird. It's This is a two-year-old post, but just recently it's been like everywhere and like every enclosure. And especially people that aren't like reptile enthusiasts, they just have a reptile. It's always a red light. Like, cause like, okay, I've done many Craigslist pickups. Uh, from reptile keepers, from non-reptile keepers, from reptile enthusiasts, and there's just always red lights. Even like, I'll be picking up just like a bicycle, just something totally random, and I'll just see a bearded dragon in their kitchen with a red, I don't know. It's so weird, they're everywhere. Can I infrequently feed my gecko not recommended foods? Maybe one time a month, I wanna give my gecko a taste of something new, usually to reward him for playing. Would be things like peas, blueberries, apples, corn, etc. Would that be terrible? Peas and corn. I don't know if I'm more confused by the peas and corn or by the reward them for playing with what? Playing with you? I don't know. I think it's just one of those things where people personify the animals a little too much. Not that it's bad to, to give your animal. I think the variety is good and interesting. I'm sure it stimulates something in their little pea-sized brain. Speaking of peas, that was hilarious. You know what? Play with your gecko all you want. It's probably just not in the same mindset as you. Not that it matters. You know what? Ignore everything I said. Just go play with your gecko. Have a grand time. Give it some, maybe not peas. Give it a blueberry. How about that? First tail drop. Is this just like an event? 
for people. They're gonna drop their tail. I don't know. Why do they drop their tails more than everything else? Are they just that scared? Well, I guess they really are F tier, aren't they? Broken arm. So my crusty has a broken arm. He let me know when I touched it and he latched on for a minute. Before I make an emergency vet visit, is there anything I can do at home? I was most curious by this comment that said, why is this even a question? If your arm was broken, would you cheat it at home? I doubt it. And the reply got deleted by a mod, but luckily we have sites like this. So we can see is that actually I have treated a broken hand at home. So frick off. I treated a, um, a fracture at home when I was a kid. Don't ask why I had to do that. It healed, I think, and still works. How do you even treat a broken arm on a Cresta Gecko? It's like this big. Oh wait, I'm very curious. A bone fractures may be repaired through surgery. You can actually do surgery on a Cresta Gecko arm. Hmm, I almost have respect for vets. Not quite, but almost, no, yeah, not really. Does this look like throw up or food? <laughs> it looks like an organ. It looks like a heart, maybe a lung, a spleen. I don't know what a spleen is, but my guess would be a spleen. <laughs> what is this? Can, can someone please let me know? I'm actually very curious. There's no comments. Uh, and for some reason, it's one of the most controversial posts. <laughs> I don't know. My buddy dropped his tail earlier today. Uh-oh, not again. And this is what it looked like about an hour after. Is this normal or should I be worried? They posted a picture of the dead limb <laughs> and not the Cresta Gecko. Uh, you should probably just... Yeah, like the comments say, you should probably just check out the Cresta Gecko and not the Cresta Gecko's limb that fell off. I guess it doesn't hurt to check both, but to me it looks normal. When it comes off at first, it almost makes a sound like you can imagine going... <laughs> it looks like an alien, basically. Makes me uncomfortable. The tail also wiggles a lot. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, I've never actually heard of a uh, an injury coming from... Like, I've never heard of long-term issues coming from a tail drop. I guess, I, okay, with a leopard gecko, I feel like it's a bit more of an open wound. Like, a cresta, he drops his tail almost instantly. You can't even really tell. But a, a leopard gecko drops his tail, and it has this, like, massive just thing on its butt, uh, which could, like, I could see that becoming infected, especially since it, like, it could get cut or something. But, yeah. Please stop using red lights. I'm constantly seeing posts like new Cresty owner house my setup and there's always a red light in the tank. Red lights are bad for their eyes and disrupts their day night cycle. They prefer darkness at night since it's natural. Any light at night is not needed so please stop. Kind of a rude condescending post. This is not rude or condescending. I think this post is fine. But apparently it's rude or condescending and it got very controversial. Some people use red lights for supplemental daytime heat and do not run the heat bulb at night. I would love to hear your snooty response as to how that disrupts their day night cycle. Checkmate, atheists. Ah, uh, red light isn't natural in any way. They're heating bulbs, blah, blah, blah. Why are they getting downloaded for this? I don't get it. I don't get the, the joint development and the loose substrate. I don't get the red lights. I don't get why there was a spleen in that person's water dish. I don't know. It's... <sighs> and finally, to everyone who commented on my last post, frick you. Frick all of you. You, <laughs> you little useless pieces of <gasps> commented on my post talking about my dead gecko and telling me not to get another animal. I hate this community. Stop freaking commenting and read the room. I hate this. Frick all, all of you and frick this community. I'm leaving this sub and hopefully the people in our corn snakes are a little nicer. Ow, I hurt, I hurt my knuckle. I'm astonished that my gecko died and people are scolding me in the comments. Max, don't post it on the internet if you don't want people scolding you. And you slash withered flowers, frick you. I hate you so much. This is two years old and I'm sad. This is, this is by Stinky Boy 123 And this is such a beautiful copy pasta, but it's not actually a copy. I was convinced it was a copy pasta, but it's not. But it should be. And it has zero. <laughs> so apparently he or she, Stinky Boy, could be a girl, <laughs> brought the Cresta Gecko outside in extreme heat and it died. Which I truly would never would. If someone just came up on the street and was like, hey, can I bring my Cresty outside? I'd be like, I don't know. I'm just a target. Why are you harassing me about Cresty Gecko care? Also, I don't think it matters. Just bring it outside. But apparently I could have been the reason for death because I wouldn't have actually thought about bringing your Cresty outside and it killing it. Interesting. Well, I guess more proof that Cresty Geckos kind of suck. And with that, I shall leave it off at r slash Cresty Gecko. Am I revisiting the subreddit? Probably not. It's not the worst we've seen, 
I bet you this one didn't even get demonetized, which is kind of cool, but I don't really need to see any more of this. If you have other subreddits you want me to check out, let me know in the comments, <laughs> or if you want me to revisit this one, I guess I can. I'll think about it. Thanks again to Dubia.com for sponsoring, because my chickens eat so many of the bugs. They disappear so fast. Again, you can get 15% off your order with code GOHERPING at Dubia.com. That'd be it. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.